To draw the Lewis structure for K2CO3, potassium carbonate, first we need to recognize that potassium, that's a metal, and CO3, that's a group of nonmetals. This is the carbonate polyatomic ion. So we have a metal bonded to nonmetals. That's an ionic compound, and the metal will transfer valence electrons to the nonmetal. So let's put K. We have two of them. And then we'll put the carbonate ion in the middle. So potassium, that's in group one on the periodic table. It has one valence electron, and it loses that valence electron to the CO3 here. When it loses that valence electron, and electrons are negative, it's lost a negative charge. So the calcium, that's a positive charge. This one, two. The CO3 here, that gained those two electrons. That's why it has a two minus charge. So we have our positives and our negatives. Those are attracted, and that's what makes the ionic bond. If you add all these charges up, you'll get zero because this is a neutral compound. So this is the Lewis structure for K2CO3, potassium carbonate. Potassium carbonate, it's an ionic compound, and it's made up of an array of these repeating formula units right here, just like this. Note that we could also write this structure like this here. In this case, we still have our double bond, and we have our positive potassiums, and you can see that these two negative charges, those reside on the single bonded oxygen. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for K2CO3 potassium carbonate. Thanks for watching.